this is Christine Summers with ID8 TV. Today I am joined by Lawrence Iriarte, the producer and art director of Lumpia with a Vengeance. So Lawrence, could you please tell us what Lumpia with a Vengeance is about um, and the general like plot of the film? Well, it's an action comedy uh, film that's a sequel to the original movie Lumpia with a Vengeance about an Avenger who uses Lumpia to fight crime. And so the first film introduced him in a high school, among high school students. And this film takes place years later. Those high school students have now grown and he's now returned to the, the same city that he protected years ago. Wow. And it's, a, it's got a lot of comedy, it's got a lot of fun, and a lot of laughs. And we get to see those characters grow from the original uh, movie, as well as bring in the new characters and the new challenge and threat that uh, comes into the city itself. Wow. Um, so I heard that this film has been in development for six to seven years now. Um, what has it been like to work for the work through the development process and to keep pushing it and finally seeing it happen? Well, it's it's just literally a big dream, you know, to actually bring it into to the convention and to bring it to the audiences that we know that would embrace it or that we know that we enjoy it. It's that it's that it's that it's that type of audience that would enjoy things, and so it's it's been a lot of work, uh, to, like getting the right things, or getting the right people, getting the right help to make the movie possible. And now it's like, it's been done, and now we're, we're now pushing it into places and getting the opportunity to actually put it into the, the, the eyes and the audience that, that really would take it to where it needs to go to. Wow. Um, so I see your illustration right here, yes. and do you, hand draw like all the, the concept art and, and including the working throughout the animation well for for the comic book that we have that that it's like part of the movie it yeah. expands on the movie itself yeah. um i get a chance to actually write some of the stories uh and and expand to brand new chapters in the first issue of lupia with the vengeance number one we actually explore the first movie to into the second movie what happened in between in the second issue of Lupia with the Vengeance, uh, we actually explore the interlude, which is the in-between uh, chapters in the movie itself of Lupia with the Vengeance. Now, this third one that just recently came out this last Wednesday, now we're actually showing the life and, and the stories that are, are happening after the movie in the story itself. And so it's like we're showing the future that we've opened the playground to the characters, uh, newer characters, newer adventures as well as new new heroes so to speak as well as newer villains that we're, we're now bringing to the forefront based upon the movie okay yeah so we're the universe of the deep fry universe of lumpia with a vengeance is now expanding and we're just having a lot of fun and i get that chance to actually draw and co-design uh like some of the villains here along with my son and actually create and expand on the, uh, the the villain that's in the movie Lumpia with a Vengeance. So it's been really exciting and really uh, just an honor, you know, to actually represent, a, a take a look on the Filipino culture, and but open it up to the other cultures and just bring it out to just an audience of, of diversity. Wow. Um, this is really, really cool and exciting. When can we expect to see it? Um like with a premiere, like for us to be able to buy tickets and see the movie itself. Well, that's, that's this is all about us bringing the movie to audiences everywhere, like WonderCon, Comic Con, including the major conventions out of it, and making sure that you know there is the audience there that the, you know that that we can bring it to mainstream theater, and we're hoping that with with the excitement that we're generating and showing that the world that we have a plan, the possibility of doing possibly another film to follow up on this adventure and to more issues to show that our world is not just singular in this one film but is expanded to, to to a brand new adventures and to bring it into the mainstream theater so it's it's about audience like yourself audience here in WonderCon audience here that goes beyond out of WonderCon and just let the excitement to continue and show that there's plans but as well it's it's very entertaining and enjoyable and embraceable not just the filipino crowd but as well as mainstream comic crowd 
action films and comedy films, you know, all rolled in one. Yeah, wow. Um, can I just ask a quick personal question yes. about yourself, yes. like your career? How did you get started in doing this? <laughs> you know, ironically, you're saying that this is the 35th anniversary of WonderCon. 35 years ago, I walked through the doors of WonderCon as a 17-year-old kid looking to get into the comic book industry. Within the next two to three years, WonderCon allowed me to make that career happen out of high school and expand and expand more and get into the film industry. It's because of WonderCon, for 35 years of support, this kid was able to fulfill dreams. And now I'm here 35 years later. Inspiring others. But bringing back a film that's comic book related, action related, and affiliated to my culture, and to the to the place that actually started me in the industry. So I'm here. I'm actually returning to the place that started me off. It's a full circle moment. Completely with their the support, their invitation, and their open mindedness. The WonderCon crowd, the Comic Con crowd, has proven to be the crowd that I want to, to bring these new adventures, these new types of visions, these new types of way to look at diversity and to bring and introduce diversity into the mainstream of heroes and villains and adventure. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. This Absolutely. is incredibly meaningful for, I mean, you to tell a story that fully represents, you know, your culture, but also just the whole, you know, ins inspiration you got from WonderCon and being able to bring it to life and seeing it happen right now. This is really, really incredible story. Thank you for sharing. Well, thank you. And, you know, <laughs> hope to see you at the movies. Hope to have you in the comic book pages. Check us out. And hope to see you at 730 tomorrow at, at the Room 200B. And sharing the adventure, sharing the fun and the funkiness. Catch you there. <laughs>